Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. There are alarming health statistics to consider. Roughly 60% of Americans suffer from a preventable chronic illness, and approximately 40% of U.S. adults are classified as obese. Additionally, fewer than 10% of adults and adolescents in the U.S. consume an adequate amount of fruits and vegetables. This raises questions about our dietary choices and whether we're opting for foods that are detrimental to our health. From sugary treats to refined white bread, here are some examples of unhealthy foods that remain popular choices for many people. Number 1. White bread Bread is confusing. There are so many different options to choose from at the grocery store, and many different health experts tell us it's healthy before saying it's also unhealthy. So, which is it? Well, that depends on which type you buy. Out of all varieties, white bread would have to be one of the unhealthiest options to put in your shopping cart. First of all, unlike whole grain types, it doesn't fill you up. It has been so refined that much of the bran, fiber, and germ has been stripped away to prolong shelf life and make it white. It also sometimes contains a type of bleach and chemicals to make it last longer. I mean, have you ever wondered why the bread you buy stays softer for so much longer than the bread you make yourself? It's also not the most nutrient-rich option out of all bread types. Some manufacturers fortify their white bread varieties because they are down about 30 nutrients found in whole grain varieties. Then there's the whole lacking fiber thing. There's next to no fiber in white bread, which is what you need for optimal bowel health. There's about 1 gram or less of fiber per serving of white bread compared to about 3 or 4 grams in 100% whole wheat bread. Number 2. Box Cereals I'm sure you've probably realized this long before now, but many box cereal brands contain way more sugar than they should. Sure, you might feel like you've started your day right by eating breakfast for energy, but there are definitely better options out there. You're about to find that out. First of all, many cereal brands are loaded full of sugars and are basically just refined carbs. Not only are they highly processed, but you can experience a spike in your insulin levels and blood sugar that may cause you to crash once that initial energy rush wears off. Excess sugar consumption may also put you at an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. The problem is, some cereal manufacturers are pretty clever with their advertising, which leads us to believe their products are healthy. They might say that their cereal is low-fat when they're loaded up with sugar instead. They might also say they contain whole grains, yet the ingredients list has refined grains as one of the ingredients. Don't be fooled. You can start making healthier cereal choices by choosing brands that are high in fiber, have limited sugar, and are low in calories per serving. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 3. Potato Chips Potato chips are one of our favorite snacks. Sports games are rarely watched without at least one bag, and they are a delicious, crunchy snack to stop you from hearing the best parts of your favorite movie. But you're probably well aware that they aren't the best food type for your general health. Potato chips typically contain a lot of calories, fat, sodium, sugar, and carbs. How much of each of those things they have can depend on the brand and what the manufacturer is trying to accomplish. The caloric intake can also be depressing when you realize what the average serving size is. Most brands say that one serving size is about a dozen chips, and there can be at least 10 calories in each chip or up to around 200 calories per ounce. Not all chip brands are the same, but it's fair to say that the majority are high in sodium and fat both of which can contribute to weight gain and a variety of related health conditions. I'm not saying don't eat potato chips, but if you know you're a bit of a snacker, consider healthier options like vegetable crisps, pop chips rather than fried, and maybe ditch the potato in favor of sweet potato or beetroot chips. I've been getting Triscuits into the mix, and that's, I mean, you get used to it. Number 4. Donuts You can't say that your eyes don't light up when you see row upon a row of deliciously sugary donuts at your local bakery cafe, or specialty store. There are plenty of standout options, from chocolate donuts with sprinkles and glazed donuts to those with delectable icing and mouth-watering toppings. But you'll probably know, even well before we tell you, they aren't exactly good for you. Depending on where you buy the donuts and what toppings and fillings they have, you can consume as many as 700 calories in one sitting. That's more than a McDonald's Big Mac. There can also be dozens of grams of sugars, which we all know isn't good for us. If you consume too much sugar, you may be at an increased risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and other serious problems. Dunkin' Donuts made a brave move and removed artificial dyes from their recipes, but there are still dozens of ingredients in the average glazed donut, 
like artificial flavors, dextrose, palm oil, soybean oil, and more. Some of the oils within donuts contain trans fats and saturated fats. I'm not saying that you have to give up the donuts altogether, but you know, maybe don't eat them every day when they contain so many potentially harmful ingredients. Number 5. Spam the average millennial isn't gonna choose spam over pretty much anything else. But about 7 million cans of this product are still purchased every year, so someone has to be eating it. And we kind of see why. It's a canned cooked meat product that generally contains processed ham and ground pork. It's cheap, convenient, and has a long shelf life, making it preferred in some parts of the world. But it's also packed full of ingredients that may not be the best for you, like sugar, salt, sodium nitrate, and potato starch. It's high in sodium, calories, and fat, but fortunately also has micronutrients like zinc, iron, potassium, and even calcium, so it's not all bad. Perhaps one of the most important things to be aware of when it comes to spam is how processed it is. It's right up there with salami, hot dogs, and corned beef, and processed meats have been associated with health conditions. One study with nearly 450,000 people showed that eating processed meats puts you at an increased risk of conditions like coronary heart disease and diabetes. It may also increase your risk of high blood pressure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Number 6. Soda We don't want to single out any particular brand. But soda, in general, is not exactly a nutritious drink choice. Some sources state that a single can of soda can contain up to 42 grams of sugar, which can be up to 10 teaspoons of sugar. When you drink a lot of beverages containing sugar, you may be at an increased risk of weight gain obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other life-threatening conditions. Let's also not forget tooth decay. In the UK, sugary drinks are the leading cause of tooth decay, and I think it's fair to say most other countries are seeing similar trends. And before you reach for a can of diet soda thinking it's better, be aware, it's not. Diet sodas contain artificial sweeteners, and some studies support the idea that diet soda does not lower your risk of developing diabetes compared to regular soda. An obvious alternative to soda to quench your thirst would be water, but you don't have to give up that much-loved fizzy feeling in your mouth altogether. You can also drink sparkling water and add some fruity flavors if you prefer. Number 7. Raw Oysters There's no denying that all oysters are delicious, and there's incredible demand for them so much so that they appear on the menu of many restaurants, and plenty of oyster bars are serving the masses. But you'll probably know that undercooked seafood can make you sick, which means that raw seafood can also make you sick, oysters included. One of the most common infections to get from oysters is vibriosis, which is caused by strains of vibrio bacteria which are naturally found in coastal waters where oysters live. Since oysters filter water to feed, the bacteria can end up in their tissue, which means that when you eat them raw or undercooked, you may become sick from the virus that's lurking in their tissue. And this infection is no laughing matter. You can experience diarrhea and vomiting alongside bloodstream infections, blistering skin lesions, and sometimes even limb amputation. Up to 30% of infections end up as fatalities, which is quite sobering. The CDC also reports 100 people die each year and 80,000 people become sick. There's an increased risk of this bacteria during the warmer months of the year, but cases have still been reported at other times of the year. There's no way to know if an oyster contains the harmful bacteria just by looking at it, and an infected oyster doesn't look, taste, or smell any different than a non-infected oyster. The only way to kill the harmful bacteria is by cooking oysters properly. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.